Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm Marty and today I want to show you a little bit a different video than my usual videos about music and tutorials. I want to present you this camera rig here that I recently acquired. It's the newer um, DSLR camera rig and um, with a cage and um, everything else actually, follow focus and so forth. It's actually <laughs> really really affordable comes around 70 to 80 bucks i think and um what we're gonna do i want to unbox it of course and i'm going to show you how to put it together um it's really a sturdy and um, handheld device i would say let's get started and put it together okay all right so let's see what's in there Instruction manuals. All right, then we got the first box, pretty small one. Oh, that seems to be the follow focus. Seems pretty good. Next one. We got here. Oh, that's the sunscreen, actually. Yep. Panels. And that's that. And now let's come to the big one here. Let's get that out of the way. So that seems to be the bars where the whole thing is then strapped onto. And screws. Here is the handle. More screws. And here now finally the cage itself. With the handlebars. And the camera is then actually underneath here, alright. So Let's put it together. Okay, so this should be actually quite straightforward. Um, I have everything laid out here. Um, let's start first off with the cage and with this slider thingy. Um, basically, just goes with those two screws onto the cage itself, like so. All right. Same for the other screw and tighten it. Okay, so that's the first part, and second one the handle. Gonna need those added two screws. And this depends now. There are a couple of holes here where you want to have the balance. So probably want to do that after um, you placed your DSLR camera into it. But I'm just gonna use now those two here in the right in the middle. Okay. Secure it tightly because you don't want to have that thing come off with your camera strapped onto it. And that's basically the cage. 
And now let's move on with the shield. It's like that, you get three screws here for um, going up and down. And also, of course, for sliding it on the slider. Um, so those two parts here on the side, first one. So there are no screws for that. Just place it tightly onto it with those clamp thingies. All right, so that's basically everything to it. And then we also wanna insert on the slider the focus. I'm a um, left-handed guy with the focus, so I put it on the left side here. And um, actually, you don't want to um, tighten that fully because obviously you don't know where the camera goes. So all we need now is with the um, focus ring here, the camera, so we can actually place the follow focus. All right. Okay. So here is now the camera. Um, I have the Canon EOS 700D. Um, and now what we want to do is we just gonna screw it onto the cage like you would normally do. Um, with a tripod. So there's just this um, little wheel here that you can use for tightening it up. And that's actually really sturdy. So there's nothing loose. And now, as you can see here, we can now adjust the follow focus where we actually want to place it on the focus ring. This is the zoom ring and this is the focus ring. So of course we want to be a little bit behind, but first let's um, use the focus ring itself here and place it on the focus ring of the camera. All right, like so. Tighten it up, and here is this little screw where we can actually make it tighter. So right now, when you use the follow focus, it will focus the camera. And now this little part here will go onto the follow focus here itself. So this is a little bit of a tricky part. You have to play around a little bit, make it tight, but not too tight. So you don't want to have it cramped all the way <laughs> onto the um, lens itself. So let's tighten it underneath here. And there's also a small screw on the inside here which is that. This is for the height, so let's tighten that. And as you can see now, we have a full function focus ring. Last but not least, of course, the shield for the lights and the sun. And of course, you have to play around also with that, how far you can place it apart of the lens um, especially when you have a um, zoom lens, for example, and also look um, of the height of it, of course, so that the lens itself is going through the hole. That seems about right. Make it a little bit closer to the lens itself. So that seems to be good. And yeah, that's basically all to it. And it's actually really sturdy. There is no loose parts. You actually can't hear anything. And with those two handles, you got a really nice, um, I think, handheld shots. So I'm pretty curious about that. Of course, you can also take it here on the um, handle above. And there's also, of course, a screw, actually three screws for, um, a tripod mount so you can also place it on a tripod of course and yeah so i'm pretty pumped to try that out 
All right, so that's the newer kit. I think it's a really great addition to any DSLR camera. And if you're interested, if your um, camera will fit into it, I'm gonna mesh it for you. I'm gonna plant it in somewhere on the screen here. Um, it's about 200 millimeters and the height is around 160. So I think probably any DSLR would fit into it. It's a, as you can see, a pretty big cage here. So thumbs up from me. Um, for that price point, I think you can't really beat it. So that's the newer DSLR camera kit. And I hope you liked the video and see you next time.